Disclaimer before this video starts. The building in this video is not abandoned. Do not try and enter the building. Do not try and explore it. It is in use. Uh, there's people that work there and the owner does not want people coming in. This video should deter people from going in. You can see what's in there. Do not go in, okay? Understood? Good. Enjoy. What's up, everybody, and welcome back to my channel. Before I get started, drink some goddamn water. You're probably dehydrated. Cheers. Now, today's video is about a time when I explored a building that I had wanted to explore for a really, really long time and what I thought was the biggest abandoned building in my province. Um, and I had planned to explore for quite a while. Uh, and this video is about the adventure exploring that building and then what came after exploring the not so abandoned building. Let's get underway. So I'm not going to put any footage of the outside of this building and I'm not going to say the building's name. Uh, if you're from the area, you'll probably already know what building I'm talking about. Um, but this is a ginormous building in the city of Halifax that looks like it could be abandoned from the outside. And in fact, the reason why I initially thought it was abandoned is because I went to this building to get close to it to do some photos uh, I was doing a photo shoot at the time, and it was made for a great backdrop. And we were taking the pictures and whatever is made for a nice area for photos. And then there was an opening in the fence and a door just on the other side. So I went over through the fence. Don't do this, kids. It is trespassing. You might get in trouble. Um, opened the door and looked in. And it looked like what you'd expect from a building that once was in operation, but no longer was. Dust everywhere, no sign of people, um, just really, really old looking machinery. And the main thing was that there was dust everywhere. But this photo shoot planted a seed in my head. I thought the building was abandoned. I now knew a way to get in. And if you saw this building and you're like me and you like exploring abandoned stuff, then you would, it would pique your interest, to say the least. So anyway, this is about a year later now, after that photo shoot. And every time I see this building, I'm thinking, someday I'm going to explore that building, and it's probably going to be awesome. Maybe one day we'll find out. Because there's something about going into abandoned buildings and seeing all the old relics, imagining what once happened within those walls, looking at stuff that was left behind and like just imagining the last person who might have opened that book or who might have written with that pen and sat at that desk, whatever. It's just really a bizarre sense of nostalgia and kind of sad seeing everything that once was probably important to people forgotten. But this building is like the pinnacle of abandoned buildings, or at least I thought it was. So I've had the desire to do it for a long time. I finally get two friends and we agree to go explore this building on this cold winter day. So we pull up at the parking lot, which is for an apartment building next to this building, uh, which is also where I had the photo shoot. So I know there's a way to get in there. We park, we kind of, you know, just give a scan around and sneak in the exact same way I did uh, when I had the photo shoot. The door was unlocked, get in, no problem at all. Now I have to reiterate, when I say this place was dusty, I mean like on every surface inside the building that humans might touch, like levers, uh, control panels, everything. There was dust, like thick, three C's, thick dust, just everywhere. Damn, boy. Damn, boy, he's thick, boy. That's a thick ass bar! So anyway, we explore. It's a massive building. We spend probably two or three hours exploring. We're going up and down ladders, checking out different floors, opening windows. There's these long, narrow hallways that go towards the waterfront, and we're going down those, and all of a sudden we're right above a shipping, a freight ship with shipping containers on it. Uh, 
And once again, not a sign of a soul in this place. The one thing, or at least the first thing, was there was an electrician bag in one of those long corridors, and it seemed that did not have dust all over it. So it was like, huh, maybe someone was in here doing work, maybe someone wants to fix it up. We were kind of like on the edge about maybe we'd run into someone down one of these corridors, but we didn't. Um, so anyway, we continue, we go down one of these corridors all the way to the water, come back, we go up to the roof, which was probably the coolest part. Uh, easy access to the roof, unbelievable views of Halifax Harbor, uh, the shipping containers, just all of that. It was pretty amazing, but we were laying low because obviously, regardless of whether it's abandoned or not, it's still legally frowned upon to uh, trespass, unfortunately. Well, fortunately for most sakes, but for abandoned building sakes, unfortunately. So we were laying low, not like standing up on the roof and being idiots trying to get caught, but the roof was an amazing view, beautiful spot. Um, we go back in, climb down the ladder, and then there's a little kind of cubicle in the middle. So this is, I should have given more context before. This building processes uh, raw materials and puts them into shipping containers. And that's what this building is designed for. So there's conveyor belts all throughout it. Um, there's levers, there's control panels, but mainly conveyor belts taking product from point A to point B, from point B to point C, and from point C to the freight ships, uh, where they get shipped off to America, China, put on trains, who knows, just all over the world. So we're in an area that I think is on the top floor. I can't remember how many floors there was. There's probably about six floors, maybe seven floors, eight floors around that. Um, and we're on the top floor and there's just uh, conveyor belts all over the place, just like there is everywhere in this building. It's essentially just, and there's a little cubicle with a light on, which obviously it's like, that's weird. Um, to begin with because there's no other lights on in this place uh, but this cubicle cubicle is a bad word for it but you can see the video clip right here uh, it's a little cement square that's an office space and we open the door to this office space and there's not a person in there thankfully but there's a calendar on the wall and the date was set to the current date And that's when we were kind of like, weird. Why would someone come in here and put a calendar to the month that we're in now? Uh, that doesn't tend to happen in buildings that we thought had been abandoned for many, many years. Um, so that was kind of our first inkling that, okay, maybe it wasn't abandoned. Uh, and after that, we got out of there pretty quick because we didn't want to run into any people. We didn't want to get caught in here. We didn't know what would happen if we did get caught. We didn't know if there was security. And at that point, we'd been exploring for two or three hours. Uh, so we figured, you know, we had our fun. We did everything we wanted to do. We saw what we wanted to see. Uh, let's get out here and make it out safe, which we did. So that's where the adventure wraps up, or at least seemingly. Um, I had filmed it all, so I... Over the next week, I had put together this little video. It was kind of designed, like, with the music in it uh, and the editing. It's kind of designed to be, like, a little bit of a horror video where it's like, oh, you don't know what's going to happen. You're on edge. It's got this, like, edgy music in the background, kind of scary. Um, so whatever, I make the video, upload it on my YouTube channel, uh, and I had a few comments, actually. I had, let me see if I can find these comments. One second. Okay, I found the comment. <laughs> so, this guy, I will not name him, commented on my video and said, Abandoned my ass. It's still in operation, which I know for a fact, since I know people who work there, LMAO. Yeah, I do feel a little guilty. I mean, yeah, you could say it was irresponsible on me and my friend's part to assume the building was abandoned and explore anyway, um, which it is, I'm not going to deny that, but it's a building that looks abandoned, it has open doors and easy access to get in, and there was no one in there, everything's covered in dust, if it had seemed not abandoned, we wouldn't have explored it, 
but it did seem abandoned, so we did explore it. But as this kind guy commented on my YouTube video, uh, abandoned my ass. So, turns out, this building is not at all abandoned. Um, it is still very much in use. Uh, and, I don't know if it was this guy, but somebody sent the owner of the building my little YouTube video. What could possibly go wrong? Um, <laughs> and I didn't know that somebody had sent the owner my YouTube video until one day my dad gets a call on our landline from a lovely man named Constable Matheson. Hmm. And it turns out Constable Matheson is looking to talk to me, Jeffrey Howard. You gotta take me in. Now, initially, I didn't know why the cops would want to be talking to me. I'm not one who's uh, a frequent flyer with the feds. But um, pretty quickly, he explained, you are Jeffrey Howard of the YouTube channel, Jeffrey Howard, right? And I was like, yeah. And as soon as he said that, I knew it was for this video. So anyway, he proceeds to say that the owner of the grain elevator sent him this video and explained, this building is not abandoned. This video is titled Exploring Abandoned Grain Elevator. Um, and if this video is public on the internet, people are going to see that, think that it's abandoned, and want to explore it. And understandably so, he calls the cops, says, here's the video, here's the kid's name, uh, get this video taken down. We don't want to press charges unless the kid doesn't want to take the video down, but get this video taken down before our business is full of hooligans thinking that they're exploring an abandoned building. So Officer Matheson watches the video, sees that, yes, it is some people exploring this building that isn't abandoned and that something must be done about it, but he doesn't know how to contact me. So he explains to me over the phone that he had to watch every one of my YouTube videos to try and get a little hint, because I guess there's no, I don't know, I guess my YouTube channel doesn't have a way for me to get contacted or doesn't have my email and he didn't want to comment on my video saying, hey, it's uh, Constable Matheson, could you give me a ring at 911 and we can have a chat about this? Um, so we, he, taxpayers' money on our hour, uh, watched all my YouTube videos, but apparently in one of my videos, my license plate is in the video. So he finds that, takes the license plate, enters it into his police database, gets my information, calls me up, and that is how we got here. Uh, fortunately, he just wanted the video taken down, so the video was taken down. The footage has not been seen up until right now for my lucky viewers who get to see my uh, this video where I reuse the footage so it's not completely wasted, and it's not encouraging anyone to go exploring the building. So if Constable Matheson sees this, And if the owner of the grain elevator sees this, I hope this uh, video is satisfactory for you. I hope you get a laugh out of it. And I hope you don't want me to take it down. But if you do, well, I might not comply this time because I put a disclaimer at the beginning. So we can talk. So anyway, to wrap up, me and my friends got quite lucky. We could have gotten tickets. We could have gotten charged. We explored this building so that you don't have to. Please don't go out uh, and try and explore this building if you know which building I am talking about. Uh, was it worth it? Absolutely. I got some really cool photos from it. I got to finally see this building that was at the top of my Halifax abandoned bucket list for quite a while. Um, got amazing views from the rooftop. Uh, got to make this video about it and share the story. and. Got to talk to the lovely Constable Matheson at the Halifax Regional Police. Um, but all jokes aside, do not explore abandoned buildings unless you know they are abandoned. Uh, and if even then, if you explore them, you're doing it with a risk. Someone still owns that building. Someone owns the property. You're trespassing and you risk getting a ticket if you get caught. Uh, so don't say I encouraged you. But that being said... I goddamn love exploring abandoned buildings and I'm not going to stop anytime soon. So be safe, be cautious, and once again, stay hydrated. 
Okay, everybody, that is video number two of weekly videos uh, in the bag. And please, once again, any feedback down below. I'm very gracious for anyone who gives me feedback on these videos because, like I said, I've never made videos like this. Uh, and I like to learn something new every video. So if you have any recommendations for me, put them down below. If you enjoyed the story, smash a like. Um, and if you're Constable Matheson, comment on this video and let me know what's up. Thanks. Have a good one.